Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> this is our next episode of our How We Van series. Um, last episode we talked about grocery shopping um, and today we're talking about how we prepare food in the van. As you guys might know, we have an all electric build, so all of our cooking appliances are electric. This means that we try to take advantage of cooking during the middle of the day when the sun is the highest and we're getting the most power. Yesterday we um, did a lot of cooking and we're going to show you that in a bit, um, but it's kind of ironic because the times that we um, have it like a good amount of power enough to cook warm food is the times that it's really hot and like the middle of the day, the times that I would much rather eat a salad or a PB and J or vegetables with hummus or something. Yeah, yeah. fresh <laughs> veggies, things like that. As opposed to like when it's cold and like 50 degrees and it's been cloudy for the past three days and rainy and all you want to do is eat warm food and you just have to eat cold food. Yeah, we didn't really think about that before we came out here, but yeah. I mean, it makes sense. So yeah, something to keep in mind. Um, we're also still working out some kinks with our electrical system, um, which means we have a lot less um, available wattage to us than we're supposed to. So hopefully when that gets sorted, we'll be good to go. Yes. Anyway, yeah, we have an induction cooktop and a toaster oven. Um, we use the induction. <laughs> right now yeah we're just using the induction right now but it's going all right one day we'll be able to use our toaster oven we'll be able to make mini pizzas it's still in there it's still in there unused brand new yep one day <laughs> we'll tell you guys when that happens it'll be very exciting we have this induction cooktop and we have a pan and a pot so we need to get them out okay we have one pan induction and one pot, which houses our plates and bowls. Um, so we can make something like rice. We'll make a quick rice and we'll boil it, put the rice in and then remove it from heat, which is the best. And then we can go ahead and cook something else in our pan while that's um, soaking up the water, I guess. It's just about, yeah, like having proper time management and learning, you know, that you have to prep everything first and then cook things because we don't have that much counter space, yeah. um, cooking things in stages because we only have one burner, things like that. Um, but it's super manageable. Absolutely. And I'm totally fine with the amount of counter space that we have to prep, to be honest. I wouldn't want to trade it for anything else we have here in the van. Yeah, definitely. So as well as our pot and pan, we have this whole drawer of cooking things like our wooden spoon, a slotted spoon, scissors, tongs, a cheese grater, a spatula, a rubber spatula, can opener, a single cheap knife. Oh, this knife is pathetic. So we got like the $20 <laughs> set from Target when we were like Which assembling. Which I would recommend. Oh yeah, yeah, I would totally recommend it. Like if you need like basic, this entire it comes with this. Yeah, but I mean, all the things that are in there didn't come in there, disclaimer, but a lot of things did. Um, one of which is this knife, which mm -hmm. I'm like kind of a snob when it comes to um, wanting proper knives. Um, we had really good knives in our house and we, yeah, have this little tiny baby knife, which is just, it's like garbage. <laughs> I like to say it's as sharp as your average stick. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty. It's it's garbage. <laughs> Until this one breaks. Or it already like can't cut say, an apple. I was gonna say it might break really soon. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. 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 Too much of that. I mean as far as like dishes and stuff, we have two plates, two big plates, two small plates, two bowls, two forks, two knives, two spoons. There are two of us. There are two of us. We have two glasses and two wine glasses. We splurged and also got two wine glasses. That's a splurge. And we don't use them that much. Have we used them at all? I think one time. <laughs> so we'll see. <laughs> yeah, we still have some paring down to do, I think, when we get back. 
Definitely. All right, so we're gonna take a look at yesterday's lunch. It was delicious. There's still leftovers, so I'm not sad about it yet. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy. It is the most beautiful day here in Austin, and we are about to make some stir fry. We're so excited. Well, that is it. Um, that pretty much covers how we prepare food in the van. Um, if you have any questions, as always, just drop them below. Um, look out for our next episode of our How We Van series. We're going to be talking about how we film and photograph in the van. Um, big ticket yeah. topic. That's going to be a fun one. <laughs> See you next time. Bye. Um, yeah, but right now the induction cooktop is working really well for us. We can make pretty much anything on there. We have two, okay, <laughs> except for pizza. <laughs> we cannot make pretty much anything. We can't make Trader Joe's orange chicken. We can't make little mini pizzas from Trader Joe's. We can't make... That's all I can do. That's it. <laughs> I'm living a very deprived life right now, if you can't know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's <laughs> great. So we have to do things in stages or making meals that... <gasps> There's the goodest dog over there. Um, he's really fascinated. Did you see this husky walking by? He wants to play too. He really wants to. He's like, I want to go get it. Ugh. I highly recommend parking your van in a city slash urban area because you can do so much dog watching. It's the best. I don't care if it's weird. Look at him, look at him go. Oh my gosh, one day we're gonna get a dog.